Hey, this is Mr. Ng going over the Math 5 factoring test version odd. This was taken on uh, September 8th, 2017. Question number one says, uh, question number two below has a greatest common factor. If you look down here, you have 7x and a negative 7. So if you break that down into factors, that would be 7 times x. This would be 7 times 1. And then there you have 7 is your GCF. So it does have a greatest common factor, and the answer is true. Question number two, well, if you found your GCF to be 7, then you're just going to <coughs> um, write out that it's not circled. So that would be um, x and then the 1. And they're se separated by the minus 1. So 7 times quantity x minus 1 is your answer. Um, so a lot of times students don't write the 1 there and they think there's nothing left, right? And they think it's 0. That would be incorrect because when you distribute or multiply, you can check your answer 7x and then I'll be a negative 7. Question number 3. <coughs> factor the trinomial completely. If the polynomial cannot be factored, write prime. So I have ax squared plus bx plus c. So a times c, so this is a 1, times negative, uh, negative 42 is a negative 42. Your b value is a negative 1. I need two numbers that multiply to be negative 42. And then two, those same two numbers will add to be negative 1. So if you get stuck here, list out some numbers. That's what I do. And I write the bigger number on the side, so on the left side. So 42 times 1. I'm thinking 21 times 2, just cut it in half. Divisible by 3. So 3 times, um, uh, that goes in 14. 3 times 14. You can think of 5, doesn't go in there. 6, sometimes 6. And then you think of when you add those or subtract those, can they equal 1? Well, that right here is your answer, 7 and 6. Now, one of those has to be negative, so the bigger number has to be negative. So negative 7 plus 6 equals negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and now do the box. And those two right here will go inside our box in those exact places add an x, negative 7x, 6x. You're going to take your first term and write x squared and negative 42. Now I'm just going through and thinking about um, uh, factors. So if you look at this way, just like the problem we did above, <coughs> what's the greatest common factor? Well, they both have an x in common. In this direction, they also have an x in common. And I've normally asked you, x times x is x squared x times something equals 6x, that is 6. And that makes sense because this going this direction, the greatest common factor here is a positive 6. And in this direction, the greatest common factor is a negative 7. So x plus 6 and x minus 7 uh, is my answer, and that will be choice C. If you've been paying attention, you don't actually need this box. It's only when a is equal to 1. If you don't understand it, I tell students to keep doing the x in the box. Just keep doing it. Question number four says x squared minus x equals 42. Well, if you take that problem and to solve, to solve means set equal to zero. Set equal to zero for quadratics to the power of two. So I subtract 42. x squared minus x minus 42 equals zero. So that's essentially the same problem as above. So if you could just take these two your answers, your binomials, and set them equal to zero. When you're setting them equal to zero, it's called the zero product rule. Essentially states that one of these expressions has to be equal to zero. And then you just subtract six here. You get x equals negative six. And over here you add seven, and you essentially get x equals seven. So you get those two solutions, and that is choice D. Question number five, factor d squared minus 14d plus 49. So if you don't like those variables, you can always change it. x squared minus 14x plus 49. And then you're just going to go through and do the same thing. Standard form of quadratics. a is 1. b 
is negative 14 and C is 49. I'm going to put it into my X on my box. A times C is 49. My B value is negative 14. Two numbers that multiply to be 49 are 7 and 7. And they add to be negative 14, so they'll both be negative 7s. So I'm color coding it, so you should do the same. That's very helpful. I'm going to write the first term, x squared. And the last term there, 49. And what I have here in yellow, just add an x. Basically what it's doing, it's splitting the middle term. Negative 14x is negative 7x and negative 7x. So if you factor here, <coughs> You'll get x and x, multiply those to get this. This will be negative 7, and this will be negative 7. So now I have 2 of x minus 7. Now, again, if you were paying attention, a is equal to 1, you'll realize that your answer is already here. You don't actually need to do the box unless a value is greater than 1. But if not, keep doing it. And then you realize when you have two of these expressions by multiplication, it is the power of 2. So d minus 7 squared is the correct one. Question number six, uh, 3x squared um, plus 2x minus 8, so let's go ahead and factor that. I'll use my x in my box. a times c is negative 24. b value is 2. Two numbers that multiply to be negative 24 but add to be uh, positive 2 are 4 and 6. And this is a positive value, so that means the positive value is bigger, so this will be negative 4. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my box. Put in the very first term. Last term always goes in the bottom right there. Those two values that I need are going to go here and here. So negative 4x and 6x. Now, here's how you know where the 3 goes. If you cover that up, the greatest common factor they have there is just an x. And the greatest common factor they have going this direction is a 3x. And that makes sense because x times 3x equals 3x squared. But this is how you double check it. This, the rest of the puzzle works. 3x times something equals 6x. So that would be a positive 2. And over here, this would be a negative 4. Now let's just say you made a mistake and put the 3 up here. Think about it. 3x times something can equal 4. 3 times something can equal 4. It's a fraction. And we don't want fractions. So I have 3x minus 4 and x plus 2. That is choice D is your correct answer. That page you have six multiple choice questions at two points apiece, so that's 12. And for writing your name nice and neatly, first and last name plus your period, that's three more, so this side is out of 50. Turn, uh, turn the page. Question number seven, they give you factor complete, m squared minus 6m plus 9. If you factor that, uh, you'll get negative uh, m minus 3 and m minus 3 and you have it twice so you just write it equals m minus 3 squared perfect trinomial square question number 8 identify a b and c so you have to set this equal to 0 so you have to add 16 on both sides and then once you got it there this is your a value a value is 1 B value is negative 10, C value is 16. You can't have x squared and you can't have an x there. Incorrect. Those are one point piece. And then when you take that, you can just fill that into your x box. Right? Two values that multiply um, to be 16 is negative 2 and negative 8, and they also add to be negative 10. Put those in the bottom left, top right. First term goes in the top right last value to the bottom right, and you're just factoring. Uh, the greatest common factor is x, the greatest common factor is an x, the greatest common factor is a negative 2. <coughs> Pay attention here. And then this one is a negative 8. And that makes sense when you multiply x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, x times negative 8 is negative 8x, and negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. <coughs> Okay, this problem says solve. So that means you have to do the zero product rule. 
uh, which means 0 equals this. Set each of those equal to 0, and you get x equals 2 and x equals 8. You can see that is your complete answer. So I gave you guys four points. If you uh, if you based uh, another based, you got another answer that is not factoring. So let's just say you did quadratic formula. The other one might be correct. It does tell you. Um, I I told you guys to factor solve by factor. If you just stopped here at x minus two, x minus eight, and boxed your answers, it give you three points because you just factored. This is solving. This question was out of four points. Question number nine. Factor completely. So the very first thing you should always be doing is thinking if there's a greatest common factor, break them up into factors. These are called prime factorizations. And then you're looking for what they have in common. So they have sixes. They each have a six. You just write it out once. K and a K. K and a K. There. That's K squared. And whatever you did in circle, you copy down inside the parentheses for. And this would be a 3k and separated by subtraction. Remember, always double check your answer by distributing in with the correct answer. If you found a, another common factor, I give you two points, such as if you just took out a 2. They're both even, so that is a good, but it's not good enough. Um, if you got something like um, 6k or k squared, I think you were closer, and I give you 3 points. Uh, number number 10, I have 2x to the third plus 4x squared plus 8x. You've never uh, factored a problem, but you should be paying attention to find your GCF. So in this problem, you do have a GCF. Remember, break them into factors. And you realize that each box here has a 2 and an x. So whatever they don't have in common, x times x is x squared, 2 times x is 2x and 4 it's just a 4 there so make sure you bring down the 2x so if you didn't bring that down and you wrote x squared plus 2x plus 4 you got 3 out of 4 points uh, here if uh, you tried to um, factor that again a times c is 4 b value is 2 there are no two numbers that multiply to be 4 and add to be 2 so this part in orange is not factorable that's prime so when it says factor completely, the, in this problem, the only thing you can do is just a greatest common factor. So this in the box is your complete answer. If you wrote uh, prime, I gave you three points because uh, this in the parentheses is prime. It just means you stop. Uh, that problem, that side had four multiple choice, uh, free response questions at four points piece. So that's 16 plus the three points. Um, fill in the blanks. So that should be 19. And 19 plus 15 gives you the uh, 34. So that test was out of 34 points. I hope that was helpful for you.